Hello everyone and welcome to the video. So if you are new here then my name is Sarah and I am currently on the hunt for a new intro. I've decided I don't like my intro so we're gonna just see how it goes in every video but um also a side note I feel like my head looks really small and my body and hair looks really big. Let me know what you guys think about that because I am struggling. So for today's video I'm so excited because actually my best friend reminded me just not too long ago that I haven't put up a holiday look yet so here we are. And I also do quickly want to apologize I have not posted a video in like a week and a half and that's not it's not my favorite thing in the world. So to be honest, I filmed a video last week. I was halfway through editing it and I just decided I didn't like it. So that's what's going on. So for today, I am doing the makeup that's on my face right now. So if you are interested, I say so a lot, by the way, if this is your first time here, it's literally my most commonly used word. I can't control it. For this video, it's gonna be this makeup look. I hope you like it. If you wanna see it, then just keep on watching. I already have done my eyebrows. I pretty much almost always, I don't know. Like I do them off camera a lot because I don't know, there's a few videos where I've done them, but I also have a brow routine video. So if you really care all that much about how my eyebrows look, then you can just go ahead and watch my eyebrow routine video. But I think brows are very personal, so I do them off camera. But we're always going to start by priming our eyelids. That's the step that I know how to do. So we're going to take the Tarte Shape Tape and just prime them. So I think I've decided today we're gonna to use the Morphe 3502 palette. I know this is like a holiday kind of winter look and this palette kind of screams fall, but I'm mainly using it because there is two really good red shades in here and that's kind of what I think I'm going to base the look off of. At this point, I'm not really sure what the look is going to be, but we're going to find out and we're going to start here. So we're going to start with the shade Universal, which is pretty much universally a really good transition shade. So I'm going to take that on the BH Cosmetics, what are you called? 101 brush. This is the brush that I always use for my crease transition shade. Highly recommend it you should try it. So I'm gonna go straight into the red shade which is called Fire. I just want to start building this up because to be honest the pigmentation is like it's fine but you mostly have to apply it in multiple layers so we're gonna start now. And I'm gonna be taking that on a BH Cosmetics number no. six brush. This is one of my preferred brushes for kind of working in the crease but being a little bit more concentrated than you'd want to be with your transition shade but still kind of blended out so that's my recommendation. So now that we have kind of a blended out crease with some red I'm gonna go in with the exact same shade but this time we're gonna take the BH Cosmetics 103 brush. This is just like a small flat packing brush. I don't know like the technical terms for brushes but basically I'm just gonna use this to pack on more of the red specifically in the outer corner of the eye. All right, so this is pretty much as red as this shade is going to get. So I'm gonna start by doing a little bit more darker stuff. So we're gonna go into the shade Chestnut and I'm gonna take that on a Crown Brushes Deluxe Crease Brush. I personally would not actually use this for the crease because it's way too densely packed, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I haven't found the proper use for it. But I'm gonna take this with the shade Chestnut and just sort of like put it on the outer corner, but like the outer, outer corner. So it's like not taking up the whole space where the red is, but like kind of. So I still wanna make the outer corner a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Brave on a BH Cosmetics number 10 brush. This is, in my opinion, just a smaller version of the brush that we just used. So this is gonna be able to make it a little bit more precise when packing the pigment. And of course, if it gets too intense, we can always blend it. There's always the option to blend. So we've reached the point where we've pretty much got shadow everywhere, but we need to do something on the inner part of the lid. So while I do absolutely love the shade Pure in this palette, which is basically like kind of the shimmery gold champagne kind of shade, I want to do something 
slightly different so you can always if you just have this palette go with this shade I think it'll work out perfectly fine but for today I actually have decided that I'm gonna take the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive and that's the thing that's gonna happen on the inner part of the lid so I'm gonna take that on a BH Cosmetics 102 brush this is one of my preferred brushes for packing on like metallic or sparkly pigments and I always do like to spray my brush with some setting spray as well so that's just what we're gonna do all right so for me this really truly cannot be a holiday look if we don't have some legitimate glitter so I'm gonna go ahead and take the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in the shade Midnight Cowboy and I think I'm just gonna put that all over the part that we just did. And now you just have to sit with your eyes as closed as you can until it dries. Quick warning, when you put this much glitter on your eyelids, it tends to have a touch of a burning sensation. So we just have to move past that. So we're gonna go ahead with our eyebrow bone highlight and we're still gonna stick with the Ofra highlighter and that's pretty much it. So at this point, the eyes are like pretty much done, but I don't wanna do the rest of them until I do the rest of my face. So I am going to quickly do my foundation and my contour and all that jazz, and we will be back in just a moment. All right, so my face is on. I always feel so much better when I put the rest of my face on after I do my eyes. I'm just like, oh, we're almost done. I'm so excited. Um, I'm really happy with how this look is turning out so far. So pretty much all we have to do at this point is just finish off the eyeballs and like a little bit of blush and stuff. But Morphe palettes are literally so hard to open. Like what is wrong with me? So what I think I'm going to do is go back into that initial red shade that we had, which is called Fire. I'm going to take that on a BH Cosmetics number 11 brush. This is just a flat defining brush. I don't know. It Honestly, it looks like a smaller version of my contour brush. So I don't know. We're just going to go ahead and take that red shade and we're going to put it on the lower lash line. So a little tip for you guys if you're interested whenever I'm doing my lower lash line I tend to always take one of the colors that is like one of the main main colors of the look and that's usually what I'll continue to run on the lower lash line and then I always blend it out with the shade that I used for my transition shade so if you guys were ever like I don't know how to do my lower lash line that's how I do it obviously everybody does it differently sometimes you can even do like a totally opposite color on the lower lash line and it'll still look fab like okay you there's no rules when it comes to makeup but if you were wondering the kind of steps that I follow then that is pretty much it so going into the next step I'm gonna take the transition shade that we originally used which is the shade universal and take that on the BH cosmetics number 10 brush and last but not least of course we have to put some highlight in our inner corners so we're gonna go back to the highlight that we have been using and put that right on in there. Sometimes I actually think that I momentarily blind myself when I do that. So. Mm. Pretty much the last step for the eyes is going to be mascara. So I'm probably gonna do false lashes as well. And yeah, this is up to you, you guys. You can either do just mascara, you can do mascara and false eyelashes. You can do whatever your little heart desires. So for the mascara, I am actually going to be taking the Tarte Tartist, like I'm pretty sure this is just what that's called. Do you have a name? Lash Paint Mascara. I love this stuff. I actually have had this like a really long time ago and I really liked it and then I realized it was really expensive. So I actually did not buy this one. I got this one in a BoxyCharm. So shout out to BoxyCharm because I freaking love this mascara. This is where the look really starts to come together. So I'm really excited because for blush I'm going to use something that I got as my Sephora birthday gift. So I don't know like if you go to Sephora you know that every year in the month of your birthday they give you something for free. 
So this year I got a Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Party. So I actually really like that. And it came with a little lipstick too that I think, what is it called? That's called Birthday Suit, which is a really cute shade. We're not gonna use that today, but maybe in another day. It's really nice. But I'm gonna use this blush and I'm really excited. It's the first Tarte blush I've ever owned. And it's kind of concerning because now maybe I want to buy Tarte blushes, but like I always try to stay really affordable with things. I don't know. So I think that looks pretty good and we can go in with one of the final touches before the lipstick and that is our actual face highlight. So of course, I have hair in my mouth, sticking with the highlight that we've been using forever and ever, amen, we are using the Ofra Rodeo Drive. Lips is always like really hard for me because I always want to do a nude lip for literally everything. So you guessed it, we're gonna use the ColourPop, I think this is, oh what are you, what are you, Ultra Matte Lip in Teeny, nope, Times Square. And to be honest, this is not the only thing we're going to be using because, I don't know, I want this color but I don't want this finish if that makes sense. So I'm going to go on top of it with the Fenty Beauty, like the only lip gloss that they have. So I'm going to apply this and then I'm going to apply this and we're good to go. Now we just have to spray our entire face to make sure this stays all day. To be honest, I'm having a bit of a lipstick regret. I don't know. You tell me if you think it looks good, but to be honest, it's winter and my lips are so dry and this ultra matte lip was a bad idea. We're using the Kat Von D setting spray. So that is it. This is the final look and I'm really happy with it. Although I think I might end up having to like switch my lipstick later to just a lip gloss because my lips are struggling and they need some therapy. So if you guys like this look and if it's something that you think is awesome for the holidays, then you can go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And I would also love to see you guys down in the comment section down below. And if you just want to request a video, if you want to say hello, I don't know, say whatever you want. And I would love to chat with you guys as I love saying hi to you guys. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!